Murray, with this kind of timing, you can't stop this play. Because before he even started his break, this ball came out. Nice job with this route. Watch, he gets it to, to Andrew Booth to turn his hips right there and just spun him all the way around. Just press, man. They talk about his speed, his ability to get behind the defense. It's just a matter of can he catch it. That's a great... It's nothing Vikings. Well, this time it's Dane Jackson on the outside. Just a go route. And again, in good position. You just don't get that head around. And perfect ball location. Uh, what a release to beat Emerson to the outside. Yeah, the defense, the whole offensive sideline was asking for that pass interference. The Texans climb right back into it. Look at him work it. Looks like he's going to run the slant and then takes off with suddenness. Feels from this area has a bunch of people in the seats watching him today. Yeah, this should be. As soon as the safety rotates over the top, I know he's going to Devonte Adams one on one. Gilmore's in position. Love, right? You get the one on one. You see this, the safety just sit in the middle of the field. Puts a great ball. This is coverage, though. Okuda's all over Claypool. And Justin Fields trying to get the back shoulder. Jalen Ramsey, DeAndre Hopkins. And what I love is the... And good for P.J. Walker. After the week that he had last week in Cincinnati, great way to start going to his main target. Just when you think, not sure exactly where they're going to go. It's man coverage. The fastest guy on the team. Who played a little bit of basketball at SMU when he first got there on campus. And that one. This is just a nice little RPO. Looks like run. He comes off like it's going to be a stalk for the. But we got to look back at this. How does he maintain possession all the way through? Not allow that ball to hit the ground. What a catch by Rondell Moore. Gets right behind David Long. Beats him off the line. And 24 yards. Again, the coverage is pretty darn good. Watch this. He's underneath, but he just can't get his head around fast enough. It's late right now. Well, you're man on man inside leverage. Watch him stay in phase. Feeling the receiver the whole time. And then when Kevin White whips that ball across his body. Here's the top of the route. Leaning to the inside. Gets outside of Dane Jackson. But this is all... This is tough coverage. You see right there in the middle, Greg Newsom. He's playing inside technique. And then here's the route, working against Dane Jackson again. And just look at those cuts. Really good job by Gabe Davis at the top. Watch. You've got to worry about the big play down the field, right? There's the turn and run. Watch him work his way back to the football. To get the play call done, but a nice little bench route by Cortland Sutton. He stuck that right hand up there. I don't know how he got this ball tucked away so quickly. But wow. he does. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That is unbelievable. And what a moment for it. On third and 15, he does this for 25 yards. Great throw and catch right here. And that's what they use Mike Evans. Big body, put the ball up there, and they made an emphasis of getting it to Mike Evans early. Made sure he didn't slip. Watch this. Dude. Come to a side like great throw. They're trying to pass this off and you're a little late. Wow, look at that move by Kirk right there. Wow, mm. great shot by her. And this is actually good coverage by Christian Benford. Watch him. He funnels them to the outside. There's the uniqueness of Justin Jefferson on the outside, but able to get inside the defender. Now you got a rest. Good coverage here by the rookie in Woolen, but just a better throw and catch. He's going to lean to the outside and then cross underneath the safety's face. Nice. This is really good to see because we wanted to see if offensively some of these guys would be able to step up. Fourth catch for Tony for 58 yards and a touchdown. Well, you see it's called a sluggo, but this is why... They've got all three timeouts. Seventh catch. For one bad man. <laughs> Where are we supposed to throw this football right here? Because this is just great coverage. Yeah, everybody back there, understanding and where they are. Here it is, right here. There is Taylor once again. Well, Sam Webb's getting a lot of opportunities today, and this is multiple times where we brought up his names coming up with a big play. Well, that's the play that, by Okereke. Well, that's an unbelievable catch. It's just a foot race off the line of scrimmage, and and. McLaurin gets in behind him. This ball at the top of this by Ayuk and just drops the ball. 
You see Allen Robinson. He runs a route. He stops. Look how long he's waiting for the football. You cannot do that. That is. He was digging and he dug out that first down. I heard you're doing there, Kevin. That was <laughs> incredible play. What now? He goes back to the inside. He sees four guys. He's like, okay. I thought that that's a, that's a hard throw for a 45 year old man, and he made it perfectly right there. Cheer. Yeah, and I was talking about that earlier. That how Tom was looking for Julio. You can tell by the way they motion C.D. Lamb over. They got the one on one matchup they wanted. But what a great job. He's a little early. Dix has been everything as advertised, but Davis and McKenzie both came into this year with expectations to kind of break out 100 yards. His 20th career game already of 100 yards. That's the most of any player in NFL history through three seasons. Understanding those backers are going to glue themselves to the cheese right in front of his face and then sneak Amon Ross St. Brown all the way across the field against Kyler. Working on the outside, he's coming underneath. Let's see if he completes this all the way through. And yeah, was he in? Great catch and by it, Godwin. It did not look like Godwin can get to that ball, man. What a if this was more Harrison Smith or a drop by Stephon Diggs. We'll see right here. Has him turned around a little bit. Has to undercut it. Watch him. They've run so much quarterback sneak. And Komet's going to make it look like he's blocking out here on the perimeter. Watch him. 85. I'm blocking, I'm blocking, and then sneaks by. It doesn't get any better than that. What a play. Inside with no help. You give him inside position with no help, you just can't cover. Activity in the Cleveland camp. A lot of these Browns can't understand why, for the life of them, the Dallas Cowboys ever let him Murray. Well, that is a really nice play. <laughs> oh, he just gets the right hand. Not fair. Watch this route. He's going to go up. He gets hit. And right there, he's like, what am I going to do with leverage? And then he's going to flatten this back inside. Most guys would turn after all that leverage and go up the field. Cooks would be the primary guy. 13. They take him deep and try and run underneath with more. And then that pressure on. And then look at the route. The top of the route right here by Olave. Just finding that separation. A guy like Ward comes in so handy. A guy that's confident supreme confidence and isn't afraid to get up in the face and yeah i mean just get yourself back upfield and and that's one of those things where understand where you are on the football field you caught it for the first down now just turn and get positive yardage not exactly sure what was going on oh, just right in the inside there and you've got a skilled i mean a guy that's been a all pro cornerback in that slot position and look at him undercut that pass coming off the ball closing that cushion and then just come back and attack that ball in the air Devontae Adams well as soon as the Colts started showing their coverage you could see the safety rotate over the linebacker move out does a great job they're just running this basically slot fade and watch Millette play the hands of Olave once he goes up get for the Raiders Catchable, but look at O'Karake's free. That was the free safety who slipped Julian Blackman. Good route here. Outside leverage. He's just going to find space in the middle. Watch this throw. Nice job by Sammy Watkins. Gets on top. He understands anytime the defender is. Last series, Campbell had a critical drop on third down. Now, it would have been a tough catch, but it was a drop. This time, the ball's right on the money. Hits Campbell in stride. Again, going up against. Jalen Ramsey, one of the best corners in the game. As I said, you've got to respect. Great route. You're going to see Darnell Savage playing down in the slot. Just man coverage, run away, and that's a great ball. Antonio Hamilton is going to be in coverage against Cooper Cup. And that's a great job all around. Once they see the defense get in the neutral zone and the ball is snapped. Outside. Rid of the ball quickly against this defense. That's what we've seen on just about every play. I love the timing. Everybody's. But I always feel like that a 49ers game doesn't really start <laughs> until George Kittle touches the ball. Watch the attitude. All right, catch, nice route, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? This is when it gets. Pretty good call here by Scott Turner, the offensive coordinator. They got double press, so you've got all that field to work with. And Samuel, he. Watch how Jennings closes the gap. You saw how far outside Samuel was playing. He has just given them that number one cornerback that they haven't had. And already this year, they lost Emmanuel Mo. 
right down in here. Let's build a wall. Let's make it tough on Traverius Ward to come out and around. And that ball was right on them. Uh, he's got a big house now. <laughs> he's not worried about anything. He's been playing his tail off this year and becoming that. Ends this one in overtime. And I don't know what he sees. He's got him underneath. There's no reason to make that throw. That That is the fourth red zone interception in the last two weeks for Josh Allen. A.J. Green at one point was one of the top two, three receivers, and his both feet are in two, two three receivers in the NFL. He had some tremendous days in Cincinnati, comes over to Arizona, and he has done that so many times. Look at the body control, the awareness, both feet inbounds, controls the football all the way through. That is a phenomenal catch.